Probably the happiest time in my career was taking the company public because now everyone could buy stock in a company that was developing natural products that are more sustainable for the environment and can provide farmers with better return on investment. Marone Bioinnovations develops natural products for controlling pests as alternatives to toxic chemicals. We've discovered new species of bacteria that control pests and plant diseases. This is a bacteria we discovered from a rice field in Northern California. And we have perfected the process of efficiently getting a product from discovery through to the commercial marketplace. My mom, she's a, a lifelong naturalist and she knows the scientific name of every plant in the universe. She got me interested in entomology and I spent hours by the pond uh, looking at uh, the dragonfly nymphs and the water beetles and trying to identify them. I became very interested in the holistic way to control pests rather than knock them dead with a, you know, with a toxic chemical. The chemical insecticide works on the nervous system of the insect as well as the nervous system of mammals, so that's why it's toxic too people. So that's why controlling pests in a holistic way is really important. Interestingly, Monsanto said we're going to move away from our toxic legacy of parathion and Agent Orange and we're going to develop something completely new and we want you to start up a whole new unit looking for new ways to control pests without the use of toxic chemicals. And I go, woohoo, this is exactly what I want to do. We compete with large companies through innovation and being faster and more nimble. Our products are derived from nature in two ways. We can find them from plants or we can find them from microorganisms. Once we discover something, we have to, to show that it's not harming crops. So this is a new version of Grandivo, mm -hmm. and this is spinach, I take it. Yes, spinach. spinach and radish. radish, cucumber. Our products are primarily used on what we call high value fruits, nuts, and vegetables, so uh, grapes, wine grapes, table grapes, uh, leafy greens, your lettuce mixes. It was an astonishing um, and important milestone. I actually had my mother come to, <laughs> to the bell ringing ceremony and her sister, and that was, that was such a thrill for her to see that. There's so few companies that go public. It was hell. And the Securities and Exchange Commission investigated, and it cost us $17 million, and I had to lay off almost half of the employees in order to afford this. Why did we make it through? Well, I had a chief financial officer, bless his heart, um, and a general counsel who were so dedicated to this company and our mission, along with the team of employees who helped me along the way. And that's why we're still here today. About 25% of the leafy greens on the coast is grown organically. Does that mean you have 25% of the market? Uh, I don't, I would say on leafy greens, probably, yeah. Well, California is the best adopter of the biological technology and it's the, our best market. And even then, we're finding that there are a lot of growers who are afraid to use these products because of the risk. Oh, it might be risky, or they don't, they, do they work as well as chemicals? So we get, gather a lot of information to show that the products work, and then it's our job to, to help educate the farmer in how to make them work on their farm. Every quarter, we have to report our financials, but this is the long game. We're changing agriculture to be more sustainable in the long run. So this is not a quarter to quarter thing. And also bugs don't respect quarters, I mean. <laughs> and the weather doesn't care whether the quarter, our, our quarter is coming or not. Belief in the mission and vision is why we're still here today. And that's why I would do anything to keep this company going. 